when I look at Warragamba Dam, I look at that huge amount of water that's uh, sitting behind it, and I look at the, the, the amount of concrete that's holding that up, I think that's, uh, that for me is, is fascinating. Warragamba here is uh, Australia's largest concrete gravity dam, and the weight and the triangular wedge shaped actually is very important for holding it in place. The more time you spend working on it, around it, inside it, you do feel it has a personality and that is one of the quite beast, quite calm but massive beast. The depth is about 90 metres uh, on the dam wall itself at full supply level. This uh, adds a lot of uh, pressure, it's got about the equivalent of uh, four Sydney harbours that's built up behind the dam in, in the reservoir, basically trying to push, push the dam downstream. But there is a massive weight above us, both in concrete and the sheer weight of the water that the uh, wall is holding up. It is really a, a massive amount of pressure that is exerted on this wall. You look at this structure, you don't think it's got approximately five kilometres of tunnels, and all throughout these tunnels there's all these different measuring points uh, for survey, uh, movement and uh, seepage measurement. Yeah, it really is a very interesting place and uh, very dynamic. Dam monitoring is extremely important, as if you do see a spike in the measurements or the monitoring readings, we can then quickly investigate it and we can understand the reasons why we, we see a high reading. Well, it measures to 0.6 of a mil, plus or minus one part per million, which is one millimetres per kilometre. So over this distance down to the crest, it's about accurate to about a, a millimetre. The dam wall moves back and forwards. It, it doesn't appear to be moving at all, but with our precise measuring systems, we, we can detect that small movement. So something which seems almost no movement at all to the average general public is quite a significant movement to us. Movements generally from year to year range between two and three millimetres in horizontal movement back and forward. Sometimes you get one or two millimetres of vertical rise. Working inside the dam uh, is, is, is interesting, yeah, it's, uh, it's very quiet in there. Sometimes there's the murmur of a, of a fan or something like that. You know, there's that sense of uh, that it's a confined space. Um, but yeah, it's an, interesting, it's an interesting place to work. The dam is built in blocks, so we have these markers, these stations on the various blocks. But any small movement of the dam forward or back because of the changing water pressure will be indicated by the movement of the walls at a different level. Concrete's porous, so when the engineers designed it, they knew how much water was going to pass through the structure itself. Within the Warragamba Dam uh, structure, we have V-notches located through crucial points throughout the dam. The V-notches and the flow measurements allow us to understand how the, how the dam is performing. So this, this VG11 is a collection of water for uh, this, this section or block of the dam, and this measures all the flows up to this point. I think it takes a, a certain mindset to, to be able to continue doing it, this job, each year when, the, when there's nothing substantially changing in your results. We're simply ensuring that nothing changes but we get satisfaction out of measuring and, and finding that nothing has changed. Yeah, I do feel uh, privileged to be here, to be looking after this huge, amazing structure that you can see here. I mean, its scale just takes my breath away every time I come here and I look up at it. It needs care, uh, it needs continual maintenance, and um, in that way I do feel I am a caretaker and I take pride and satisfaction out of uh, carrying out my role um, properly.